everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I am really riled up right now, and I want to share with you my big mistake so you don't make it too. Let me start on the positive side of things. So several months ago, I bought this Fjall Robin Konkin from their website. Uh, it's the American, um, the U.S. branch of it. So I knew that this was authentic. And before buying, I had watched several videos that kind of showed you how to pick out an authentic one, or not pick out, but recognize an authentic versus a knockoff. Is that the right word? Yeah. I, I said kickoff earlier to my son. He's like, Mom, that's football. So anyway, this is the real thing. I like it. I'll, I can show you more. I do have a video on this that gives some telltale signs. So a while ago, however, well, not even long ago, earlier this month, um, earlier in June, I came across this website, landmarktop.com, Fjall Robin Konkin Clearance Outlet. It popped up on my... Uh, I think it came up on Instagram. Okay, so lesson number one, don't order anything from Instagram. Things that pop up, because I did it before, I ordered a shirt that I never got, turned into a PayPal dispute slash claim, and those people ended up giving me the piddly sum of 12 something dollars because I was not prepared to be scammed by anybody. It makes me so mad. I should have researched this better, but this came up and they had all these Konkin backpacks for $33, normally $100. My 18-year-old daughter just graduated high school. Her and her friend and her friend's mom are going to Florida to celebrate and just have a fun little summer trip for a week. So I thought, I know I'll get her a backpack that matches her new suitcase. So I ordered her one, and I ordered one for me, and it was like, oh, this is so awesome. It's, but, you know, like two of them, even with shipping, was less than the original price. It seemed too good to be true, and it was. Um, so if you get this landmarktop.com, Fjall Robin Konkin clearance outlet, research it. But what this led me to was a big ripoff. So let me show you what came in the mail today. It did come fairly promptly. But you know, when I ordered that, I was like, mm, this sounds too good to be true. Listen to that little voice in your head because a lot of times it is too good to be true. So I'm gonna show you the packaging that it came in. I'll just cover up my address because I've been told to do that. In case people just want to send me randoms of around amounts of money, I'll cover up my address. Okay, so what comes back is something totally different. This FBM Shipping Department, City of Industry, California. Okay, sounds totally weird and non-authentic. I have not researched that yet. I went to this website. I went to customer service, click, 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 click. It took me nowhere. And it says, and if you want to return an item, you have to pay return shipping and restocking fee. And I'm like, no, not going to do that. You scammed me. I'm not going to pay any reshipping uh, thing. You send me a return address sticker with shipping paid, and I'll give it back to you. But I want my money refunded. My daughter wanted to keep it. She's leaving tomorrow so for her it wasn't a big deal for me it's a huge deal because I don't want to buy junk you know so if I paid maybe 15 for this and it wasn't advertised as being an authentic con conkin I okay that's fine anyway so they are getting nothing back from me and I'm hoping that PayPal will be able to help me as they have before I've already filed a dispute and it can go to a claim after like before 21 days are up. And I'm really hoping these people will pay. Because 
they mess with the wrong people. You know, I'm not a mean person, generally easy to get along with, but when you scam me, I just uh, can't stand it. So let me show you what I got. Beware, my whole point of this is don't make the same mistake I did. Take time to read. If they sound like they're, their English is improper, that's okay, but you can usually tell if somebody is a native English speaker, if that makes sense. And sometimes these scamming things are coming from elsewhere in the world. Um, so where to begin? I took it out and I thought, oh, it looks pretty good. You know, it's all right. Right away though, this did not feel right. This feels like a slick, almost plasticky material. The authentic uh, Konkin Bay is, it's really hard to describe, but I would say it feels like a tightly woven canvas or maybe like a tent. It comes and it's stiff. It's a little unwieldy at first. It's a little bit hard to shape and mess with, but after time it loosens up, but it feels very, very durable. I like that. I like structure to things. Okay, let's compare again. This looked okay, but look at the dots above the A. Um, to you Swedish speakers, I don't know the name of your letters with the punctuation, so my pardons there, but you get my idea. That looks okay. But if you look at this one, those A things are much more, the little dots on the A are closer to the pointed part of the capital A. This feels, um, I wouldn't say poofy, but kind of, but it just feels more, um, it's smooth, but it feels like it would hold up. The, the stitching is pretty nice. I've got a little piece here that's snagged, but it's, it's not bad. You know, that, that probably has loosened up over time. So you get this, the weird A punctuation, and this just feels cheap. Okay, so then you look at the zipper. Is it the authentic zipper? It looks pretty good. It has the fox. And on the other side, it says Fjallraven. But one thing I notice is that the letter N is super close to that circular part, almost like it got cut off. Okay, so I thought, well, okay, and I looked again at my authentic one. The fox looks pretty much the same. And the Fjall Robin name is close to that loop there as well. But it seemed kind of kind of close. So it, it didn't I thought, well, maybe. One thing on this is the paint is, I'm hoping that you can see this, on, and I apologize if not, but look for a really clear quality looking paint. And I feel like this one in the light, it looks more cheap. It's like rough on there. And let me just check something. Um, I was checking the curve on that, on this part right here next to the lettering. I can't tell the difference on that, to be honest there. Okay, so you open it up. Well, first of all, you're looking at this handle and you're like, seems a little flimsy. I don't know, maybe it's okay. Again, second guessing myself the whole time. I was checking the snaps. Okay, one thing about these people that scam is they get better and better at it. So there is, on the fake one, the fox. 
the engraving or embossing, I'm not sure what the correct term is, is much shallower on this. I can't wait to show you the inside of this, but here's some outside things. This one, you can, it's much more deeply cut in there. And the pattern on the fox is different. than the pattern on this one. Also, if I hold them sideways, this one is thinner uh, than this one. It looks cheaper to me. Okay, so there again, like, well, and then the way that their label is worded, you're like, oh, this is how the original ones were made. This is the classic version of the original Konkin backpack. Well, maybe so, but it's not the classic version of the real or the authentic. So you open it up and then your dreams are dashed because you know you just got ripped off by a company and I just don't know why people like that are on the planet, but they are. So, see? Hey, Ken, I'm doing a video. Here we have the zipper. And you can see it's totally a raw edge. This is sloppily sewn and this already looks mangled. The whole workmanship looks like something I would do, which is <laughs> actually, I mean, yeah, if I could do that, I'd be like, oh, that's not too bad. But when you're paying this much for a supposed real backpack, that's just, a mess. It's a sloppy, crappy mess. And then this sad excuse of the foam pad. No. It's supposed to be more structured. Yes, it's not super, super heavy duty because it's going in a backpack. This is like something that you take out when you buy something and it looks like packing material. This is sewn sloppy. All these loose ends. You can see it here and here. It's not even cleaned up. The raw edges all the way around are a mess. And then this, lots of squeaking and stuff. Sorry about that. This is like, what the heck? Cheap, not so nicely. This is just like so flimsy. It does have the Swedish flag thing, which we were told to look for. Okay, they caught on to that, they're doing that, but it's different than this Swedish flag. This one is more off-center, and this one is a little more centered, a yellow cross in there. And this has just a little more of a durable feel to it. Not a whole lot more, but some. But then again, you can see, uh, okay, there's a deep red color here. It's a bright red here. The punctuation on the A is much further apart. It's higher up here. And then this is just sewn so much better. The inside feels like a windbreaker. When I was growing up, at least, that's what we would call a lightweight jacket. This is um, windbreaker material. This is a cheap version of that. It's like scratchy. This is more like satiny feeling. The stitching is much neater. And look, all the seams are finished in this all the way around. So even if you turned it inside out, it would have a tidy quality constructed element to it. The inside of the patch is smooth. These are done nicely. That's from my little thing on the front. You know, it curls up here, but that's what you have to do. It's still neatly contained. And I don't know about the hardware, but this hardware is metal. Whatever kind of metal, but a little bit better, I think, than this which I don't know how the backpacks are. This is the Konkan sling. It looks 
brighter on the screen, at least through my phone. This is like a mustard color. And I ordered some kind of neat looking rich green in this nondescript. I don't hate it, but the handle is more what I ordered. And it's kind of like, what do you call this color? I don't even know. That's not what was on the screen. And so anyway, back to the hardware. It's plastic. So maybe it's like that on the backpacks. I do not have a Kunkin backpack. I just have the sling. But kind of makes you wonder. And if you have one, let me know. So this is sewn similarly. Um, but so that's different there already. But again, because of the style, I can't speak to that. What I can speak to is the horrible, amateurish, quick, cheap, junky way in which it's manufactured. And that is not a quality product by Konkin. And if it is, then they've gone way down the hill because, I mean, look at that. That's supposed to be a cushion to sit on or a cushion for protecting what's in your pack. I'm not going to put it in right now. don't want to waste your time with that. So, oh, okay, last thing. You'll love this. This came with the authentic. It's a rounded card. It's tied with a sort of, I'd call it like a papery twine. Konkin sling. It has the name on it. It has the barcode. This is tied on here with um, like a really, uh, it's like white twine, but doesn't have that same quality feel to it. Notice the difference in the cards. Deeper color, rounded corners. It's a a little more heavy duty, I guess you'd say. I just kept this kind of as a little bookmark thing in one of my traveler's notebooks. Thankfully, I hung on to it. Because they really have been comparing things. The print here and the print here look very similar, but it was when it was on here that I'm like, the dots are like way weird on there and so they've kind of changed their wording I went to the website so I had the fake ads here or the real ads with fake products but on their web on the official fjallrobin.com website they have kind of this thing that's their mission statement um, but here it's worded since then, we have stayed true to our mission. Okay, first of all, excuse my dirty fingernails. I had a Reese's peanut butter cup um, in the car, and it was hot, and they were melting. I hate it when my nails look like that. Anyway, you're supposed to put a space after a semicolon. Now, if you're a classic quality company, even if English isn't your native tongue, you have somebody do that that is. So it's all crammed together. Developing timeless, functional, and durable outdoor equipment. Comma, stuck right in there, no spacing. Acting responsible to people, animals, and nature. So that's in proper English. In the, on their website, acting responsibly towards people, animal, and nature. Like you don't have animals say, you're not acting responsible to me. It's not even the right form of the word. So... That caught my eye. And then nature and inspire to a life in the outdoors. It's a rewording of their words on their website. So interesting, though, it has by appointment to HM, His Majesty, the King of Sweden. So I've been told that if you see that, it's authentic. And yet here it is. But this is flimsier. And, you know, I, I don't know how. I don't know how they can do this. I don't know. It's just like so similar. 
and yet the quality is not the same. I mean, I'm just like floored by this. This is not the same material as this. This feels and looks porous. That might be a good way of saying it. When you look at this, yeah, you can see that it's a woven fabric of some sort, but it's so tightly done. And here it's shimmery. This is more matte finish. Obviously two different colors, but off-white, blinding white and bright red as far as the thingy go. If, you know, I, I just, again, I'll end with this, but the inside just is like garbage. Like I could probably tear this with my hands if I wanted. And you have this, and it's lightweight, yes, but it's sewn nicely tighter stitching. This is almost like a basting stitch. Um, this does not have the foam thing in, but in this back little pocket, it's a little bit hard to open up. You can see the stitching that holds on the strap, and everything has a finished seam. There's no exposed fabric edges. This just You know, it doesn't look the same. This is different, this is different. So I just am mad because I was excited to get this for my daughter. I was excited to have another, a uh, little bit larger size. The sling is pretty little. It's nice for a few little things, maybe, whatever you would do that for. This I've seen used as a purse. I thought, yeah, I might like that for the summer. I'll just grab the handles and I'll probably leave these in place but you know yes it's a cheaper price but it's not the same product I didn't want to pay a cheaper price for a knockoff I want the real thing and I'd rather spend more or not get it so be on the lookout my friends and as I'm looking this is one last thing this may or may not be excuse me, a consistent thing. His little eye, the little fox eye, is almost like an angled, um, like a tipped over triangle pointing down and to the right. So the left side of the eye has more of a straight line. This may be one thing. This here looks like a sideways teardrop. So I do like the design of these products. I like that they're compact and sturdy. Um, I'm not big into worrying about if things are name brand or not, but sometimes I like that quality because I feel like it'll hold up and um, it's just going to be a nice durable product. This is a little bit more rounded, I think, maybe, maybe than this, maybe not. This doesn't feel the same quality. Here they have, uh, so you can see the width of this handle. It's sort of like a woven heavyweight ribbon of some sort, maybe. And then it's sewn together. Perhaps it's glued at some point to make it a little, you know, this narrower thing that's easier to grab. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice today. <coughs> and this is just doesn't feel of the same durability. And again, the stitching. So I can be totally, totally mistaken. It does have this, doesn't have the Swedish thingy there like it does here. Purveyor to the Royal Court of Sweden. Aha. This says by appointment to His Majesty the King of Sweden. I don't know if that varies from product to product. Um, it's too small for me to look. So different wording there. I don't know if that's, if it varies like um, from where it's labeled or something like the inside label versus the tag. This one has nothing even about that unless it's hidden under, under, sorry, under this. But there is the insignia there, and there's not there. 
So my big thing is, just to reiterate, if you want to knock off, not a big deal because it kind of has a similar look, that's okay. But when you think you're buying the authentic item and it's a scam, it's a ripoff, it's not the real thing, just I guess I just hope that you know and I would encourage you to look and I'd encourage you to return it if you want it authentic and it's not take the time take the time to complain don't play games with the companies you can go back and forth and they'll say this and they'll say that because I had it happen on a previous Instagram purchase from some random company which you think I would have learned but I didn't anyway I finally went to PayPal and they settled the matter for me and so now I, I did the same I'm like I'm not going back and forth with them I couldn't connect to customer service it wouldn't let me so I went right to PayPal and it's a dispute after so many days you can make it a claim and my experience was that the company didn't want the notoriety and they accommodated me so hopefully if you have the same situation you can get get it remedied too so anyway this is just sewn once here I'm noticing across here it's like a Z like uh, backwards Z's and here it's crisscross an X one of many little things I don't know maybe I'm totally off the mark but pretty sure I'm I'm right on this because this is nothing like this so there you go don't buy from landmarktop.com check them out at least investigate notice the language notice the wording notice the punctuation read the fine print before you spend a lot of money on a product if you want the authentic thing so thank you for letting me rant and rave and I'm just fired up hopefully they'll remedy the situation so thank you for watching please feel free to comment below if you've had a similar experience let me know how you handled that and if you have any insight on the situation I'd be interested to know thanks for watching see you next time